In, in uh, uh, section 4.5, we have what we call the determiners. Of course, you hear about determiners, and uh, unfortunately, some uh, students pronounce or utter it as determiner. In fact, it is determiner, determine, the verb, the verb determine, the verb, the noun determiner, and in case of plural, we have the determiners. What is meant by determiners? Determiners means we have certain words that we repeatedly used after, uh, before the uh, nouns, before the nouns. We call them what? Determiners. Or in other words, we predict that what comes after these, we have what? We have a noun. For example, if I, I have a, for example, you uh, imagine that after a or a, we have a singular uh, noun. But if I say, for example, they have many, then you are going to predict that they have many, uh, after that they have countable nouns, they have many cars, they have many problems, they have many, let's say, uh, issues, hopes, etc. So then determiners words or expressions that precede the noun and they tell us that what comes after the uh, them after uh, we have the determiners. Of course, later we are, uh, uh, we know that if we have a noun, any noun, this, uh, this noun mostly preceded by what we call what? Determiner. We have determiners. And these determiners not necessarily come uh, directly before the noun. Sometimes we have other expressions. We call them what? We call them predeterminer. Predeterminers. Uh, sorry, here we have predeterminers. And another group, and another group that comes after the determiners, we call them what? Post determiner. So, determiners, these are, we are going to tell them, take them. And then we have, uh, after the determiners, we have what we call predeterminers. And after the determiners, we have another group, we call them what? Post determiners. I mean, all these three groups, this is group one, two, three, all of them before what? precede the noun. And even sometimes before the noun, we have, for example, an adjective. So how do we arrange them if we have, for example, we have predeterminers, determiners, and both the determiners, and if there's uh, an adjective, this should precede the noun. Anyhow, we are going to discuss this uh, in detail later. Now we start with determiners. In fact, we have six classes or types six classes of what of determiners what do we mean by six classes means we divide these words according to the relation with what with the nouns that we took before and if you remember we said the noun can be either all nouns in english can be either countable or non-countable so bottle milk book water house, cement, um, say, uh, boy, uh, we have coffee. All these, all the nouns in the, in the nature, either they are countable or non-countable. When, when they are countable, they can be either what? Either singular, bottle, bottles, citrate, citrates, wall, walls, pen, pens. So this is the division. These six types, uh, six types of determiners are limited or used according to the type of the nouns. So the first group that we can use, suppose we have this type, this is the division, this is in small, the same chart, next to Jedwell, the same chart here means we have here bottle, we have bottles, and we have, for example, furniture. The, the first group of this, the first group, we can use them before the bottle, before the uh, bottles, the plural, and before the uh, uncountable. So what do we have here in this case? We have the first group, what we call uh, so randomly, for example, not necessary. We have the word the. The word the can be used before. We can say the bottle, we can say the bottles, and we can say the milk. So there, the first member of this category can be used before all the three. 
the second word with which or whichever or what or whatever etc so we can say which bottle do you prefer which bottles do you prefer which furniture or which milk you drank so which or what what bottle do you like what or whatever bottles you need or what milk you drank so the second category with which with uh, what etc the third group is what we call the position the position pronouns the, for the possessive or the possessive or position pronoun possessive better any anyway, possessive pronoun pronouns for example we say my or her or etc we can say this is my pen on this or these are my pen my pens or this is my coffee this is my uh, uh, glass so the possessive pronoun can precede all the time whether the type of the noun is singular or plural or what or uh, say uncountable the possessive pronoun the third category we have let's say some and say any some and any we can use we can say some for example door we painted some of the door we painted some of the door means part of the door or we can say some students some students are here and also with any any water you like you want to drink you can so here we have some and any can be used before these are the four, this is one, two, three, four. The fourth category is the first group can be used before uh, all of them. The second category, this is this is number one, the second category of pronoun can be used where only before the countable, only used before the singular. So the second category used only before the singular. Here we have we have to say a or an and we have each and we have every and we have neither and we have either so this is the second category the second category of determiners precede only what only bottle for example a i have a duty for example i have a duty or ha I have an eye, or I have an air. See, then either A or an can proceed. Or we say every, every student should come in time. Each person has a right. And neither voice was present. Either solutions is available. So then the, third, the second category of determiners can proceed what? Can proceed only the uh, the uh, only the uh, singular noun. Then we have what we have thir the third category. I'm going to uh, uh, delete. Then we have the third category. The third uh, category of these determiners. Uh, 